we have Matt here from Alquio. So how are you doing today? Doing great. You know, it's been an awesome time here at DrupalCon. Nice. What has been your like favorite session at DrupalCon? So at DrupalCon, my favorite session is actually the hallway track. This is my 10th DrupalCon. So the first two were like sessions and sessions, but now it's seeing friends and getting together and having all the talks and like what people are working on, like Starshot. Yeah. Just, that was announced at the Dries note and getting to talk to people in the hallway that had worked on similar things at their agency, but now we have like a unified initiative. That's really cool. You're talking about Starshot. What was your favorite thing in Starshot and what are you really looking forward to? So my favorite thing is that we're owning our two personas. This is my take of it. We have Drupal the CMS, the yeah. packaged contributed user space and custom code and core. And then we have Drupal core, the framework. That's true. And we've always kind of been right down the middle and never owned either audience, the low code site builder. We said we wanted to, but we left them kind of hanging. And then we had Drupal core, which is this amazing framework and we never really brought that in. So like, yeah. I think we're going to be able to own those two audiences and really show what makes Drupal great and our different technologies that we provide. So essentially like Drupal core is still going to stay for those developers who love and use it today. But then there's Drupal CMS, which is for those low code and no code builders who get on ramp. Yeah. It's like That's Drupal core thing. won't be changing except we might get smaller. So okay. it might be like the unused models removed. But then Drupal CMS is what we do every time. It's like, oh, I need path auto. I need the sitemap module. I need meta tag. These things aren't in core. So when you get Drupal, you have to go hunt and find them down magically. Somehow you know what to get. You type in the right search Yeah, words, you type in the right search and words. You get the modules, right? Yeah. Like, so now we'll have that. Like, this is the best way to build. And it's not just Drupal core. It's all the work that the community's done. We have a lot of contribution. But I think now people can look and say, I maintain a module. It's in the Drupal CMS. That's a really cool feeling for people to have. That is amazing. So you did a talk that I was at, and that's something really cool that you've been working on. Yeah. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. So like my favorite thing is building developer tools. Right. And that make people work better, faster. And so I'm building a tool called Retrofit. And yeah. Retrofit lets you run your Drupal 7 code in Drupal 10. Right. So there's about like 40% of sites are still on Drupal 7. I've been on customer projects where they've invested millions of dollars into their Drupal platform because it let them build a scaling e-commerce application. And now they have to rewrite all that custom code. And that's a lot of time. Well, Retrofit lets you take that Drupal 7 code and put it into your new Drupal 10 code base. So the old legacy APIs are mapped to their new versions of it. And you have to rewrite less code, hopefully like only half your code or even less. That just sounds like you waved a magic wand to move everyone from Drupal 7 to Drupal 10. I mean, hopefully. It would be great if it turns into that. It's yeah. just we've done such a great job at data migration and all the data, but what about the custom code? There's right. thousands and millions of lines of code. We didn't really try to solve that. That, that I feel like, is the hardest part about upgrading, right? Yeah. And that, that is a lot. We, we did try to solve it. We have a solution. It's called the module upgrader, mm -hmm. but it will take your code and wholesale upgrade it. So instead of going like piece by piece, the whole thing changes and you cross your fingers and hope that it went well, which can be challenging for people who are doing the paradigm shift from Drupal 7 procedural P code to the new object oriented way that Drupal 8 works. Right. That can be a really glaring shift. And this way they can do it in little steps and right. become more comfortable. Nice. That is really cool. So we're part of Seeka Editor, and you've talked about having to work on some of these migration works with Secret Editor from four to five. Mm -hmm. Would you like to fill us in on probably some of the challenges that you faced, and how did you come up with solutions around them? Yeah, so I first started Aquia to build the Aquia Dam integration when they first acquired their dam product. And we wrote the integration with Seeka Editor 4, and lets you do all these cool things like show a difference if there's a new update in the dam. Okay. But don't need to be Drupal 10 writing because we're hitting the end of life for CK Editor. So I was in charge of writing the upgrades. So kind of learning the Drupal APIs as they were being finalized for <laughs> Drupal 10. And then getting to learn the new way that CK Editor 5 worked, which it's kind of like a Drupal upgrade in ways. It really changed, but I really like the structure. I think the biggest thing that overcome is like how there's the different components that go into it. Instead of like a flat right. file, there's the command there's editor and once you understand that it makes it really easy to write the plugins and put code in a specific spot it just took time to read okay and 
I would say there were some challenges just because you're not writing like CK editor code. It's, oh, I have to write a little bit of PHP code in Drupal to say that there's a plugin and then make the JavaScript API of Drupal talk to CK editor. Yeah. And like, it was actually a really good experience, but it was just that little learning curve. And I think it's improved a lot since we first got it into core too. It's true. What are probably the top two resources if someone wants to write a plugin from four to five? So Wim Lears, as part of the CK Editor 5 edition, wrote a bunch of tests and examples. So I'm a hardcore believer in it. If you want to learn a system, read its tests. Right. Because everybody should be writing tests. Ideally. But, <laughs> ideally. But it's just one way that you can learn how a system works because the tests cover the edges and the insides of software. So there's a lot there. And Drupal is one that does, does documentation on the website. I don't know. But in code, we would document our code so thoroughly. So if you were to go to like the CK Editor 5, it has this YAML file that explains for a very simple plugin, like that one you can find on CK Editor, like mm -hmm. on the plugin page. Oh, just put in the JavaScript line here and you just write some YAML file. If it's a little right. bit more, oh, there's some PHP code because you have dynamic options. Right. So it does walk you through those. And course the ones we had had some dynamic options so i was in the more difficult spectrum yeah but if you wanted to add an existing ck or plugin that doesn't have custom javascript you really just write a few lines of code to add in a text file and then it should just be available awesome well that's great and have you ever used any premium features at ck editor i've consulted on projects where i said they should get premium because they work with word a lot mm -hmm. as much as like drupal's great at content management and all this you can't stop an enterprise workflow where they pass around a Word doc and then eventually copy paste it into the WYSIWYG. There have been times if you're going to keep this flow, just get premium so that way you can have the better formatting when you paste it. That is true. Paste Office Enhanced, I believe is what it's called. Yeah. There's also import from Word for CK Editor where you can import Word documents oh, as well. Oh, even greater. Yeah. Even better. Especially if they're working on their local machine. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us and. You know, check out his work on Retrofit. It's really great. And thank you. Thanks for having me.